I'm going to show you how to use the text tool in Seashore. It's actually pretty simple. You take text, now we're going to click on an area of the image and draw a box. That becomes our text layer area. And then I'm going to add some text over here. World's greatest. Okay, now I can click the various alignment methods. I can use the line spacing to shrink or enlarge. I can use this to offset. You'll see what that does uh, a little bit later. Um, and we can change the font. Let's move this in so you can see it. And you'll see that it automatically adjusts. Similarly, we can change the color as well. That's pretty bad. Let's stay with the black. Now, uh, one of the things that is neat, like if I go to a different layer, the text tool automatically goes away. If I click, it's going to create a new text layer. So I'm going to delete that. If I'm have a text layer selected, I can then I can move the text layer around. I can also resize it, which will automatically reformat the text. And if you save the image in the Seashore format and GIMP, you can always go back and edit the text layer. If you convert it to a PNG and only have that, you're going to lose the ability to edit the text after the fact. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit different thing. Let's go through and let's make a ellipse here. And we'll go to the text tool. And we're going to say a new layer. Now I'm going to say set bounds from the selection. And it automatically took the selection, turned it into a bound. So when I type, like, this is pretty cool. Let's use a lighter uh, color so you can see that a little better. And you'll notice it'll format it to fit it within the selection. So no matter how complex the selection is, you can do something like this. Let's, do, let's delete this layer. Let's do an arbitrary selection like that. Now let's go to the text tool, create a new layer and say set the boundaries from the selection and let's type this is some text that is fitting the selection and let's make that lighter gray so you can see that and again it will reformat it as the selection changes let me show you one last interesting uh, technique here. So we have this text down here on the bottom, World's Greatest Pug, but it's a little bit hard to see uh, on the background because there's some you know, dark elements in the sand and things like that. So I'm going to show you a neat technique on how to correct that. What we'll do is we'll click on the underlying layer. I'm going to duplicate that layer. I'm going to grab my elliptical uh, tool and then I'm going to select an area around it. Now I'm going to invert the selection so it's basically grabbing everything else in the image around it. Then I'm going to cut that out. So now if you look, if I take this off on the left, you see I have, oh let's turn off the selection now. You'll see I created a elliptical layer, which is just around the text, okay? And now what we can do is we'll take our tool here, our effect, our blur, and we'll blur that area. So you can see here as I change it, I can get some interesting ability to like that can make the text be a lot easier to read. Okay, 
some weird stuff like this. So in, in, in general, if we turn off the other layers, you'll see it created a blurred layer based on that. Thank you for supporting Seashore and look forward to my other videos.